Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It's not particularly a, a special number here, but it's special to me because we're playing as Isaac 92W17L7V. I don't know why sometimes I get tripped up reading the seeds. It's like a 7 looks like an L to me sometimes. I don't even think I have like mild dyslexia. I think it's just when it comes to the seeds, I'm not used to my brain having to read each individual letter. Instead, it compartmentalizes them as words. And, well, you didn't ask for my life story. Mini Mush is re-rollable, as far as I'm concerned. Box of Spiders is uh, still pretty bad, but it's possible we might be able to get a, uh... Might be able to get a battery? We also have a Tinted Rock. I'm glad I didn't blow my bomb on that uh, last room. I'm just gonna leave and then re-enter. Because uh, I was concerned about the possibility of there being spiders inside of one of those pots. Luckily, there was not. Anyway, uh, yeah, I could have quite easily just used a uh, a bomb to blow up the area around the chest there. But I'm really glad I didn't. And we ended up getting two spirit hearts out of that instead. Which probably guarantees us uh, a deal with the devil on the next floor. As long as I don't completely brick it up here. We need either a battery or a few more rooms. Or a lie, I really thought I could get out of that. Or a little bit more money and a key. As of right now, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical that any of those are going to happen. But it's possible, at the very least, they do. Alright, I like fighting the Widow first. I think it's actually even more ideal than fighting the Pin first. Because we've already got the insulation here. Uh, to not take red hard damage on this floor. Hopefully we can get through the Pin easily. Or sorry, the, the Widow easily. And then we fight the Pin on the next floor, maybe. And, uh, you know, Bob's your uncle. We can get away with... Uh, not taking red heart damage regardless of our situation on pin if we get lucky. Not super thrilled to have lost, you know, a whole spirit heart here, but that's okay. Shit happens. I am a little bit perturbed and also surprised at the damage that I took there. Uh, I didn't think that they could spit out a spider, uh, you know, pavement style right in my face there. That's, it happens from time to time, I suppose. A little bit of extra HP never hurt anybody. As long as we can hold on to this half spirit heart, that's okay. Why am I excited to be playing as Isaac? People might be saying, well, you play as Isaac all the time. True. But we really needed it on the past couple of runs. The D6 did show up on that Maggie run. But it was so... Oh, we're definitely not going to get what I thought we were going to get. Um, it was so slow, though. I really thought they had one more hit left in them. I was trying to drag them up here to this. Uh, turns out we probably should have gone with Mini Mush. It was a little bit brazen to re-roll it, I'll admit, but hey, it is what it is, you know? That's the way the cookie crumbles. Let's uh, head down to the next floor. I got a, probably two D6 charges if I can use one right away. Whether or not I want to use one right away remains to be seen. Please be the basement. That is definitely the cellar. Okay, so we should probably, first off, try to learn how to speak English again. And then after that, probably we should try to uh, pick up another spirit heart as soon as possible. I mean, it's kind of redundant. You know, you're always picking up spirit hearts or trying to pick up spirit hearts at least. But uh, certainly this might be one of the more uh, necessary situations, or situations where it's necessary to do it. We've gotten through this without taking uh, hits before. So obviously, like, that first hit we took is very disappointing to me. But it's not catastrophic yet. Not until we see if we're completely screwed. Okay, this is like a freaking racing game here, man. We gotta stick tight to the corners, don't mess it up. He slam, slam, spits, then I shoot. You know, we remember. Just keep ourselves kind of up against the wall as far away from these as we can. This is a hard one because the there's so much difference in mobility between these enemies, you know? The grandfather flies basically can't move or can't move very quickly. The spiders can move super quickly, and then the basketball spiders can dunk on you from, like, halfway across the map. It's actually ridiculous. So we're looking for a tinted rock. Obviously, we don't expect one to be available here. We have a bomb at our disposal. I'd like you to stay away, please. Thank you. We have a bomb at our disposal. You're like one hit away. Yeah. My hope is that that can be parlayed into a tinted rock. More keys is good. That does give us access to the shop. And with this bomb, we might be able to get to five cents. Uh, and as a result, be able to buy a spirit heart, which might not be the worst idea. Depends what we come across first. There is a tinted rock, so we will definitely check that. Golden chest is okay if we have to, but yeah, that's definitely what we were looking for there. This really smells like a secret room to me. Not a cigarette room, that's something completely different. Ah, uh, I think we would have gotten it. I'll, you know what? That looks nothing like a secret room template now that I look at it. Oh well. Good, 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 good. We found our item room first. It is speedball. Let's be honest, we're probably gonna have to take it. And I honestly don't hate that idea. 
I probably should have uh, just taken it right away because we're going to get a benefit out of it. Let's pose the question. If I get an awesome item from the boss and an awesome item from uh, the deal with the devil, do I want to reroll Speedball? I hate to say it, but the answer is yes. So, you know, on the off chance that that ends up happening, that's what we'll do. We'll save it for now, and we'll try to reroll it into something better. Shooting for the moon a little bit, hoping that if we miss, we land amongst the stars. But, uh... Ooh, a little careful. I got messed up on my position. Sweet. So, we are going to get a deal with the devil here. This is uh, pretty much according to plan, although I wish I hadn't lost that uh, other half of a spirit heart, but it's okay. It turns out it's probably not going to bite us in the ass. All we can really hope for here is a, you know, decent pin item and then an awesome deal with the devil. And, of course, we will take quantity over quality right off the bat because we'll have the opportunity to uh, re-roll as many items as possible, as many items as we don't want. But really, most important thing, just precedent. Give me the opportunity to get precedent here and I will be pleased. Probably a bad habit to take that HP first, but we are going to take both of these and I think be very content with it. So we'll reroll Speedball. <laughs> and I do like having speed as an upgrade. But I, I do think it was the right call, even if it didn't work out for us. I know that sounds ridiculous. The Emperor card, is that worth more than the speed and shot speed? No, probably not, admittedly. But we could get another battery charge. You never know. Uh, and the Emperor card is not meaningless, like it, it does carry some value. I'm trying to get to five cents here so maybe we can make our shop worthwhile. There's so much poop available on this room back here. I mean, I, I don't find it too likely in all likelihood that we're going to be able to make it worthwhile, but we might as well like give it a shot, you know? It's a little boring to do so. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit boring to do so, but there's always a chance that it works out and we don't compromise anything in the process. Obviously, a bomb would help out a lot as well. One of these has to have one penny in it. Like, sure, petrified poop is a little bit of a taller ask. Better thing. Whoa, never mind. Okay, now we're going to get a lot of money here. We might even be able to get to 15 cents. It's amazing how quickly that can turn around. And people will u always use stuff like this as an example of like, see, you should shoot all the poop because sometimes you get petrified poop. My disadvantage in that argument is that there's no physical representation of the amount of time that I have saved from not shooting every single poop in the game. So I can't be like, you got a good point, but check out all this life that I saved not doing something that I, I don't enjoy, you know, shooting the poop mindlessly. If you're the kind of person who's into that thing in Isaac, then it's, it's a no-brainer, you know, if you get off on uh, min-maxing. I phrase that as if it's a negative, and I don't mean it that way, but um, if you get off on that sort of thing, then that's cool, but it's not really my style. But sometimes you gotta make a sacrifice today for, uh, you know, a hamburger tomorrow. And I think that's what we've done here. And it, it looks like it's gonna work out. At least in theory, it's already worked out. We got what we wanted. Uh, unfortunately, what we actually wanted was not in here. So we traded a key and five cents for a bomb. Don't fail me now. It uh, failed me, but that's okay. Let's head down to the next floor. Honestly, not really all that slow and a good boss item, so I'm pleased. I am pleased. Let's see what we got going on in here. Nothing we can use. Um, a curse room, which we will go to right away, despite not having any bombs or a reroll. It's a bad habit. And we got nine lives out of it. Range up. Tears down. Actually, it's peace up, A-town down. I'm super happy to have nine lives in our second cat piece, but of course, uh, the tears downgrade sucks pretty hard. We could have gotten out of there by using our uh, Emperor card. And there might be actually be some people legitimately wondering why I wouldn't uh, take advantage of that. It's actually surprisingly simple. We didn't have a reroll. And uh, the, the half black card that we saved by getting out of there is not really that big of a deal. The Emperor card is probably worth more than that uh, if we use it to skip a floor where we're likely to take red heart damage before the boss and thus guarantee ourselves a better deal with the devil. Or maybe we want to skip all of the cathedral if we hold on to the card that long and that uh, that probably saves us way more than half of a black card at that point. All it has to do is save half of a hit and we'd be, uh, we'd be sitting pretty. But I will admit, I'm always tempted to use it and that's, it's not the worst situation in which to use it there, of course. There are worse that I have thought of and worse that I have probably done as well. So we really, in spite of the fact that this is going amazingly right now, especially with two cat items so early. Um, we're just uh, holding back a little bit. Really wish that we could do something with this chariot card here, but it doesn't really seem in the cards for us. 
Maybe we'll use a bomb to get what's over here. I don't think we can access any of the other stuff, but I'm gonna go back for that Emperor card. I just want to make sure I'm using this Chariot card effectively. And this seems like a really good room in which to make this happen, because this could be annoying. We really would like to improve our DPS. That's something we're sorely lacking right now, and if we can uh, sort that out, it'd be very nice for all parties involved. Thankfully, this is our secret room. Okay, this is actually awesome. Skinny on mushroom. Damage downgrade, of course, but uh, fire rate way, way up. Absolutely solid. So, Pandora's box, I would love to get here. Caves 1? You kidding me? That would give us a, a free boss room item, basically. And with the reroll, that's very, very valuable. Very happy with Skinny on Mushroom, though. That's going to be a huge help for us. And we still saved our key for uh, later access of the item room. Obviously, our rerolls are not really planned appropriately here. This kind of feels like a second secret room to me. A little bit of a risk. But it was a, it's an earlier floor. There's a chance that could have worked out. We're always testing, experimenting, trying to learn a little bit. Well, that's not always true. That's a little bit of a glorified way to put it, but you know. That's my ideal. <laughs> it's to always be learning a little bit. Probably should have waited until we got closer to the boss. Stuck with uh, Occam's Razor of Second Secret Room knowledge a little bit. It's okay, though. That was very poor damage, but it also sped up the room greatly. Not that it was intentional, but maybe not the worst mistake we've ever had. All right. So, the best case scenario here by far is a deal with the devil that has a, a cat piece in it. I don't really care which one it is, because it's going to cost us all of our HP regardless. Um, maybe something we could take with us. Actually, no, I'd, I'd say Guppy's head would be the best for us. Because we could pick it up, get the benefit of being the cat, then reroll it into something that's non-cat related. But I would take anything. I'm not going to be too picky about it. I'm also not going to worry too much about our HP. You know, 10 lives means... We're in a little bit of a luxurious situation. We can afford to be like, uh, you know, I'm going to live forever. Because we are going to live for a long time. Orbital's nice. In spite of the fact that none of my dreams came true there, an orbital is, is good. Now, here's a worse uh, reason to be using the Emperor card. Saving yourself some backtracking through all of these rooms. Because you're going to look for your item room. I would not recommend it. Now, hopefully, I mean, I'm really glad our secret room panned out the way it did, but I wish maybe it had the skinny odd mushroom and some money because uh, right now I'm like, I could really use like eight cents or a lot of bombs to get eight cents so that, oh my god, I could um, pick up Pandora's box. This is some sloppy play right here. Red heart, not useful immediately. We used the D100 so recently. I'll tell you what, okay. I'm gonna come out here. We still got the cat pieces. We'll re-roll ourselves. We lost the extra life. We still have nine lives. How does this look? I don't know. We're very slow. I'll tell you that much. Was there a battery available in the shop? Because this run looks pretty terrible right now. I think we have Stompy and, uh... And the chains? Yeah, we got some kind of Stompy. It's probably Thunder Thighs now that I think about it because we're so, so slow. There is a sharp plug, which we can't do shit about. Okay. Well, we're pretty much stuck with this now. It's okay. Again, we're only one cat item away. Hopefully our damage makes up for the fact that we are so freaking slow right now. Or maybe we find a crawl space or something. And we'll reroll the D100. Into Proptosis. Okay, now I don't feel so bad about it. Huge damage increase, even at uh, maximum range. Walk our ass back up here. I think we have, uh... I think we have some stuff that we can do. I was pausing because I could hear, um, Kate streaming through the wall, and I was like... Hope everything's okay, but it sounds like just a Necrodancer challenge maybe went, uh, went south. We have nothing to gain from this except maybe a crawl space. Ooh! 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 Uh, not much poop at this point, so maybe Liberty Cap for the occasional speed upgrade, but it's going to have the occasional speed downgrade associated with it too, which scares the crap out of me. Let's just go, man. Let's just go. We're out of here. Rehydrate a little bit. Curse of the Lost. Not a big problem. Boss Rush is a, a long-distant fairy tale at this point. Uh, it, okay, so we have like $3 bill or Tough Love. Hard to tell. The fact that it was taking three shots each to kill those guys scares the crap out of me because it means that our damage is probably, like, real shitty. I don't like that very much at all. Oh, Jesus. There's another explosive diarrhea in there. Tears down. Range up. Range up is good. 
shouldn't have done it, but I thought maybe it was worth it. And I am an idiot. It was not. I know I said shouldn't have done it, and I did it again. But I'd already taken red heart damage. I figured it was the right time. If we die on this life, it's not um, it's not a catastrophe. I think, at least. Um, I would prefer not to. It would be better for us if we didn't. But it's not a catastrophe either way. I'm just very disappointed in our damage, considering we have... Uh, well, whatever. Considering we have um, Proptosis, it's very disappointing. Must be pinned. So oh, it's Teratoma. Okay, that's fine. Just keep ourselves back here. We don't really want to get caught in the mushroom explosion from three different angles here. It might seem like I'm unhappy with my reroll. I'm actually very pleased with it, especially given that we have a very high chance to become Guppy. We don't need too much for that dream to become a reality. I would like to go into the run reroll room, but let's let's do this first. And I'm actually pretty pleased with this, even though it did take our last key. I'm relatively okay with the way that this event has turned out. I am a little amazed at how bad uh, my damage is, considering that we have Proptosis as well. Like, you would think that we'd be absolutely destroying Mega Fatty here, but that is not the case right now. Obviously, we have uh, Scorpio as well. I don't think that's common cold, more of a Scorpio hue. Closer we get, the bigger our damage bonus is, and when we get far away, it's a little less impressive, but it's also a little bit more protective, so something to be said for that. And it does make a difference, but also making a difference is our amount of HP. I would like to keep it as high as possible if we can, so that uh, if we do get a deal with the devil on the off chance, we can do so without compromising too much of our own survivability. Easy enough, but that is meant to be an easy boss, so... Can't really brag about that one too much. Would have been a nice Cricket's Head opportunity, but at least we got our key back. I can't stress enough that you should not be doing what I'm doing. But I'm holding out this weird hope that a magic mushroom is going to show up. You can just use bombs, obviously, for those ones. Health up! Okay. Was it worth it? Probably still not, but um, the damage there is done, so there's no use crying over spilt milk. First section of the game taken care of, although we will probably want to go back there uh, in order to get into that double key room, but we need, I don't know, like three keys in order to swing that right now, because we do want to get into our shop maybe as well. We're a little bit low on, on money to make that happen. You gotta go, you gotta go! That was very close. I can't believe you didn't die from one hit with the, uh, the tough love there. That's a little amazing to me, and by amazing I mean like super scary. Alright, we're gonna do something that we should probably not do. I'm going to go... Oh, uh, we, we have taken red heart damage already. Two of hearts. Let's pop this. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, we can do this now and it doesn't make a big difference. Goat head, cat piece. Holy shit. That's amazing. We are now Guppy. With Proptosis. And the Mark. These are huge damage upgrades that are going to help me out quite a lot. Tears down. Not really uh, as important, I have to be honest with you. But uh, this should be a win for us. You can argue till the cows go home whether or not I deserve it with some pretty sloppy play. But, uh, you know, let's keep in mind where we'd be if I didn't use the D100 in the first place. I'd probably be in a much better position. And uh, I don't want to be that guy who's afraid of using the D100 because it's mathematically the wrong choice. I want to be the guy who uses the D100. Gets a bit of a weird reroll, but uh, let's be honest. We also got uh, Proptosis along with it. It's not like we were saddled with a run that had no moving parts. That's... A really, really, really good uh, curse room for us. And that's, like, example number one for why you always go to curse rooms now. If you have the HP to keep yourself from dying on them anyway, because Jesus Christ. We're now Guppy with Proptosis, and uh, we got the Goat Head as well. I will use two keys up here. I thought it was right there. I'm freaking out, man. Oh, it was right here. They were big rooms, but different big rooms. And this one's just money. Which is a real disappointment, because we just spent our last keys. It's like some Gift of the Magi shit, but... It's okay. We can still get a... Oh, we're definitely guaranteed to get a deal with the Devil after our, uh... Boss fight now, so we don't have to worry about that. We can take as much red heart damage as we want. So this is almost certainly a win. I mean, we're already guppy. With Proptosis. Damage is really nice. What do we need at this point to... To guarantee it? Like, a little more HP is really all I can think of. I also can't seem to find the boss room, so I'm just going to use this. And hopefully this will give me access to the uh, item room nearby as well. I think we could honestly really use this speed upgrade. And then in here... Um, I 
think I'll take this and reroll Moonstar, aka Horror Babylon, because it's not like I was looking too likely to be able to use it anyway. If we get another reroll, we'll probably reroll the nail. Not a terrible item, it doesn't really fit into our uh, existing plan for this run. How did I miss so much? I must have missed like a door on one of those big rooms. This is Caves 2, I think, so. There might be a blood bank somewhere around here. This also definitely feels like a second secret room to me. It is not, uh, and that's why you never trust your judgment. Always go with uh, some documented evidence. I missed a ton of this floor. Maybe I was just getting uh, annoyed because of how slow I was. That's good, we're picking up a lot of consumables. We might actually get a, actually, now that I look at it, I'm pretty confident we're, we're gonna get a natural reroll that we can just use on that deal with the devil instead. Range up, okay. Body? Absolutely. I mean, that makes us somewhat vindicated for not picking up uh, Horror Babylon, which we definitely would not have been able to use. Uh, I think we just go, honestly. I know we didn't go to our shop. I'm being a little lazy about it. Grant me this, this laziness, please. There we go. I had a feeling it was somewhere in this area. Let's head down to the next floor and we'll make it, we'll make it work for us. I don't think we want to take that. I can hear, like, some noise out there. Oh, it's laughter. Okay, it's good noise. When I hear, like, oh my god, coming through my wall, and it wasn't like a breathless, you know, Luke Wilson coming home in old school, oh my god, you don't have to be concerned about that. However, I'm like, oh, are we being, like, robbed right now? No, nah, it doesn't appear so. Probably just, like, a really good uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer run. If you like Crypt of the Necrodancer, you should go watch Kate's Necrodancer stuff. I don't know if she's one of the top players in the world, but she practices quite frequently and is, um, she's watching game day footage. Like, I see her watching the, the replays of the, the Necro Dancer Illuminati doing the cool stuff and she's learning, man. Maybe she will be the new, uh, well, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. She could be the new Northern Lion for Necro Dancer. Maybe she could be the new Cobalt, you know, that would be a little bit better, maybe, for everybody involved. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think uh, the reroll from Steam Sale into Infamy is probably solid. This is where Stompy or Thunder Thighs should really start to pay for itself. Use both Temperance and uh, the World card here. I'm trying not to take the tension out of this, but I really feel like there's pretty much no chance we lose this one. At this point, at least. A blood Bag would be amazing. I don't want to go super, super low, but... IV Bag is not what we want, but it gives us a, a very convenient reroll nonetheless. My favorite part of having uh, Thunder Thighs is definitely the Tinted Rocks that I will find by accident. Wink wink game. Give me some accidental Tinted Rocks, please. Hemorrhaging a little bit more HP than I'm comfortable with here, but picking up a lot of uh, sweet contract from below action in the meantime. Two and a half hearts. We're getting down to our shop pretty quickly. Can't be greed because we already fought greed. Let's try to get some of our HP back now. I'm getting, like a little nervous. Probably shouldn't have put myself in quite this tricky of a situation. Are you a wizard? Range up. Range up's just coming fast and furious here. Which one of these gets rerolled? I honestly don't think it matters. I think both of them are, uh, both of them are pretty shitty. And I think the pool is going to be the same either way. Like the pool of, of uh, items to be rerolled from. Black cards would be nice, or you know, sun cards, or lovers cards, or. Wheel of Fortune, a little bit less so, but I guess your heart's in the right place. Let's see if we have a reroll on our shop. Here, a font's really good. All right. I mean, our damage is not 100% amazing out of control yet, but there's pretty much no way that you can imagine us completely ruining this one. I think, at least. So we only get one reroll. Do we know what the pill is? Explosive diarrhea. Eh. If we only get one reroll, uh, I would rather. Use it on the one that's closest. I should have popped the Temperance card down elsewhere. That would have made it easier. Let's try to play this a little bit more. I know that I just said I don't want to lose all my HP, but uh, the first thing you need to know is that I'm a hypocrite. But I've also got good instincts sometimes. Let's pop down Wheel of Fortune just in case it pays out with something. I don't think it's likely to on an explosion like that. I'll take Ace of Spades. And we got Juicy Sack out of this, which is uh, well worth it, I'd say. So we're not going to have a reroll ready for our deal with the Devil, which is uh, probably a suboptimal play, but I got a sneaking suspicion that we're due for a Krampus fight anyway. It just feels like this floor feels a little Krampusy to me. Some spiders. Please don't shoot me. I'm just uh, trying to do my job here, mister. 
Really uh, happy with the sacrificial dagger payout. Always a fan of this item, except when I kill myself with it. Oh, we actually did get a reroll there. Pinky Eye's okay, but I really like the good cards that you can get from uh, Ace of Spades instead. Let's see who we're fighting here. It is the Bloat. We can fly, so the Bloat is a lot less dangerous than he could otherwise be. But still, uh, you know, not an enemy you want to take too lightly here. But our flies just went buck wild there. HP, absolutely. Placenta, not my favorite HP upgrade, but that's not a problem. Now... Or Babylon actually looks like a surprisingly good take. So this is one HP, or sorry, one extra damage, Fear Shot. We might as well take Abaddon as well. And, uh, yeah, let's let's head down to the next floor. I mean, we're missing the Mob Trap Room, but I don't feel like I'm really missing it, if you know what I mean, Bob. And now our damage has to be to the point. Well, it, it's to the point where I wish I'd taken, uh... I wish I'd taken, uh, Horror Babylon, I'll put it that way. But at the same time... It's hard to be, you know, there's no use crying over spilt milk, you know, it's like Warren Buffett here is like, oh, you know, I could have had like another million dollars in my bank account. What does it matter? You're already like a quadrillionaire. It's pretty much how I feel about this run. We're already guppy. The only things that I would really value are things that make our, our run more enjoyable right now. Like, uh, more enjoyable for me at this point, mapping is definitely up there. Uh, additionally, hive mind, which is why I'm going to try to reroll this uh, shop. So I'm only going to play this until we get down to 20 cents, or, you know, whenever it wants to give up. Map? Yeah, the map plus compass is very awesome, so we will do that. I don't want the cartridge. We'll reroll the poop. Robo Baby 2.0 is bad, but we're going to be moving pretty quickly through this floor, so I kind of feel like we'll just do that. And let's uh, break these open and see if we get a card that's worth our time here. Dry Baby was definitely worth our time. I do realize I'm rushing a little bit here. And we should probably stop, but it's a, it's an instinct that's going to serve us pretty well in the next section of the game. And also, we have so much damage, and we have mapping. So I'm thinking that it, probably long term, or even short term, this is the right way to handle it. It just feels weird after playing so much slow Isaac in the last two runs to be like, well, we're going to go fast now. There's no excuse to take as much shitty damage as we have. Um, we're not going to be using keys for a while, so I think we just do what we did there, which is basically use one... Uh, two of spades. Oh my god, that damage. We'll use one two of spades and then uh, save the other one for when we think we'll get the best value out of it. I was one floor away on the Krampus payout. We don't really want this, so we will just go. These six still better for us. Uh, we are a little bit lower on HP than I'd like, but it's kind of rich to be uh, complaining about that in this situation. Definitely we will have a reroll ready for our boss fight here in case we don't like what the boss gives us or what the devil gives us. At this point, I can't really imagine what I would want on a deal with the devil that isn't just, like, more damage. Like, we've already gotten the guppy items, including my favorite guppy items, so... Kind of just, like, you know, might as well just... Get it done as soon as possible here. The ability to fly makes this one a complete no-brainer. The boss didn't even get a chance to attack. We do not need a range upgrade. And we do want Death's Touch. That's a great pickup for us. Speed up. Doesn't really hurt. Tears down does, but we will just head down to the next floor. A little scary HP-wise, but very productive, and, you know, we still have nine lives in case we die. Curse of the Blind. I'll tell you what, let's go check over here. We might be able to pick up some extra... some extra stuff. I feel like my rate of fire has gone way down with this, which doesn't seem right. Okay. Pop to a spades. We'll open all these. Cricket's head probably in there. Could be Bob's brain. No, Cricket's head. That's a huge damage upgrade, obviously. And let's open these. That is probably Bob's brain. Bob's rotten head. Gross. I'm not interested in that in the least. We're so far away from a reroll as well. Probably we're just going to go beat the boss and not worry too much about this golden chest. Save our rerolls for when we're uh, inevitably going to need them a little bit more. But the, uh, the Cricket's head pickup was awesome there. This is an extra spirit heart, so I'm very glad we're investing our time. It's actually not an extra spirit heart because I killed the wrong enemy. It's okay. It happens. And you know what? we did? Oh, wait. We did get an extra spirit heart anyway. Maybe there was a tinted rock I missed. Or maybe those enemies pay out whether you kill them first or last. Tammy's head. Tammy's head. Anemic. Ooh. It's not bad. It's just kind of boring. But uh, I'm just happy we had the opportunity, honestly. Just taking a quick glance around for tinted rocks. And there is one down here. This is not where we need to be, but hopefully it'll be over with fairly quickly. And definitely we want two more keys. I can't remember if we have Guppy's Tail, but we want to be opening the golden chests as they show up, so... Yeah, no problem here. No Tinted Rock. Two keys dropping. 
I forgot that we got contract from below. We'll probably... Actually, I didn't realize we had a library. We probably could have done better with this, but... Uh, we'll try to reroll our library. Maybe? There is a Tinted Rock. I'm trying to think, like... If it's like a five-room library, maybe, but we're not going to get... Uh, oh, thank you, Infamy. Always try to remember to thank Infamy. We're not going to get many rerolls. Very surprised we didn't get hit there. Hi, uh, Devil's probably better. Hmm. Let's go in and look at it, and then we can reroll it a couple times just in case there's something like... You know, if we can at least take books out so we're not going to get them on the chest, that might be worth something. Or maybe there's a 48-hour energy. Bombs are key. Not a big deal. Explosive diarrhea. Also not a big deal. Uh, this is just one item. It is a book, though. Anarchist cookbook. Reroll it with the D6. Book of Shadows. Just use it. Chaos card. Moon card. Alright. We'll take a Chaos card with us, obviously. Honestly, probably Isaac is where we're going to use this. Just to... Speed that up a little bit. I, mean, I kind of am tempted to use it on Mom's Heart, but the thing that's stopping me is that exactly what happens often happens. Mom's Heart often dies with just a one hit, basically. Or, you know, one second sometimes. No Curse of the Lost is what I like to see. Curse of the Unknown is not so bad. Yeah, this is... Well, there's another Tinted Rock back there I missed. But uh, this is exactly what I was hoping for out of this run. I feel bad asking for it because, you know, we get lucky a lot in Isaac, but this run is just out of control. And it's exactly what I wanted after those runs where we got, like, basically no damage upgrades forever. It's a little rare to kill Chubb that quickly, so I'm, I'm feeling very good about our current performance. Thank you, Dry Baby. I sort of forgot you were here, but don't take that as an insult. No, I think about it, it kind of sounds that way. Unless it's like you're so good at doing your job, I forgot you were here. Like, if you were, like, a... I don't know, like a bodyguard? Or is that... Antivirus software? Like, antivirus software is so good you don't even know you have it? I don't know if that, that kind of sends an uncomfortable message, I guess. Oh my god. Probably full HP now. Yeah, that's 12. Uh, burnt Penny. I like the cards that we're getting instead. Honestly, man, we are generating so many flies. Might as well go back there and open those. Two uh, Monstro 2's dead, and we still have not exhausted our... situation. Or exhausted our uh, fly pool, I should say. No Tinted Rock, but I like that battery charge, and Mr. Mega's worth taking. I don't know what we're, we're going to be able to do with the battery charge now that I think about it, but I do like it. If you want to show up later, uh, consider it. Surprisingly awkward to make your hand work for that, but we got it done, and now this should be very, very fast. Oh, this is like 12 times faster than our last run, which is not sensical, but you get the idea. I pretty much dislike all these. Taurus can be good, but I'm going to reroll all of them. I think we're going to take Tech Point 5. Uh... Rainbow Baby, and then we're going to Forget Me Now, which will require the loss of our D6. It's a shame. Thank you, D6. You're an integral part of this run. We couldn't have done it without you. And then we got Curse of the Lost, which is just like the ultimate fuck you. So we got Minus Touch. I like it. Chemical Peel. Infestation. Not, uh... Not the world's greatest items, but, you know, Chemical Peel is a, is a damage upgrade. And uh, Minus Touch, definitely with permanent Polaroid invincibility. After we get hit, we're just going to be able to do whatever we want, basically, because enemies will be destroyed super quickly. This room is basically just fly generation practice for us. Fly generation. Fly generation. We got contract from below, so we could get double chests down here. I don't know what our luck stat's like. I kind of feel like maybe it's not that good. But we got the keys necessary to open up golden chests, if possible. Nope. Mm, both pretty bad, but we'll take him. Although ramming speed maybe with Midas Touch is awesome. I don't know. That's another synergy people have told me about is uh, ramming speed Isaac's heart. You can really end up damaging enemies with it. I've never considered that, admittedly. I was ignorant of that uh, synergy. But at the same time, I two items I don't like maybe colluding to make a situation that maybe I'd like a little bit more. Could be okay. I didn't even mean to do that. I was shooting in the wrong direction, but sometimes your team carries you. You know, that's what you get when you get a lot of depth. Nothing there. Alright. I really do miss not being, or I miss being able to see where I'm going, but, uh... 
Unless I get trapped in limbo for like literally forever, we should probably be pretty fine here. Man, our bombs are actually pretty good as well. Homing and Bob's Curse. If we could just get like BBF so I didn't actually have to use bombs to make it happen, that'd be even better. Like, why not at least try? We probably shouldn't be playing both of them at the same time. I think it might actually mathematically give us better odds to split it up, but at least we don't have a uh, spacebar item, so the bean it makes sense in theory, although in practice, basically not, because it'll do less damage than a single one of our tiers. And the flies generated from it. Oh, really should not have taken the HP. Sloppy play. Oh well. Maybe the poison damage makes it worth using it. Maybe I can shoot and use the bean at the same time, so it doesn't matter. I don't know. Let's, we're gonna win anyway. It's, there's no point in splitting hairs. We don't really want HP. Maybe the poison damage allows us to generate flies per tick. I don't know. It doesn't matter. This runs over. Give me a kiss. Wow, that was, uh, well, yeah, probably the flies and spiders. Our contact damage from Midas Touch shouldn't have been that good. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. That's Win108. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.